Hey guys, how are you today? Today we're gonna to be doing a no foundation makeup routine. I think these types of routines are perfect for this time of year because it is so stinking hot outside that nobody wants to feel like their makeup is melting off or like they've got a ton of stuff on their face. I know for me anyway, that's how I feel. So that's why I like this type of routine for now. But honestly, I think this is great year round and it keeps my skin looking very fresh, very healthy, but definitely very, very lightweight. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I achieve a makeup look with no foundation. And before we get to it, I do wanna do a little poll because we did a poll last week and I thought that was a lot of fun. So I might do these every week or in every video. I wanna ask you guys, are you a no foundation, light foundation or like light coverage or full coverage foundation kind of girl or guy? Let me know in the comments down below and we'll just kind of see who wins. <laughs> what does everyone like? Let us know down below. And I'll let you guys know my answer at the end. Okay, every time I talk about a foundation routine or really any kind of base makeup routine, I like to talk about my skincare first because I'm sure a lot of you guys know the skincare is kind of the key in how any makeup looks on top of your skin. So I know for me, if I'm not taking good care of my skin, my foundation doesn't look good or no foundation even like i'm doing today but let me go quickly through my skincare routine with you guys and then we'll get into the actual makeup products so the first thing i want to talk about are my beauty by design products you guys know i've worked with beauty by design in the past i'm working with them on this video but i've been using them for about a year and a half now and if you guys haven't heard about them what they are is a personalized skincare service this basically means that you get a real life esthetician that you can text call chat with anytime and she's going to give you exactly what your skin needs. For me, it was, okay, my acne isn't so bad now that it's summertime, but I do have a lot of dark spots and acne scarring still. How can we start to kind of combat these issues? So what she does is then she finds the perfect products that are gonna help with that problem. And whether your problem is, you know, wrinkles, dry skin, oily skin, pores, they can find a product that's gonna work for you. So for me personally, the first product she recommended was their Radiant Cleanser. This one has glycolic acid in it, so that's really good for someone with dry skin. I did tell her dryness was a problem, and so this one is supposed to be good for that, but also good for brightening the skin. So this is what I do first. Once my skin is cleansed, I actually use Beauty by Design with some other products that I really love in my skincare routine. And the first one of those is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Basically, it's just a little pad that's got a little bit of a texture to it. And what I do is I roll, roll this, rub this all over my face. And it's just a quick exfoliant helps my skin to be smooth and just kind of ready for that makeup application right after. Once I do that, then I'll apply my serum, which is the brightening serum from Beauty by Design. This is the number 536 from their line. This one feels so good on the face, it's refreshing, but I do feel like I get that brightening effect with it. Now, Beauty by Design is actually having a promo right now where you guys can get a free serum with a trial with them. Of course they have, I think it was like 24 different serums to choose from so they can really find one for your specific problem. So if you guys wanna try it, this is a great way to do it. Once I apply my serum, then I can go with my moisturizer and you guys, every single moisturizer that they have recommended for me, I have loved. <laughs> this one is the Hydrate number 379. This is the Rose Hip and Lactic Moisturizer and it's supposed to be a soothing moisturizer. So again, very great for someone with dry skin like me. So yeah, that's everything that I do for my skincare. That's what I've done so far on my face today to kind of prep it for everything else that we're gonna be doing on our face right now. Anyway, I highly recommend you guys try the Beauty by Design free trial. Basically what you get with this is the free $60 serum, but then you also get a full three page kind of skincare plan that you can pick and choose from. Anything that you choose to get from the plan, you get 30% off on. And on top of all of that, you can still get 10% off by using my code, which is not affiliated. I don't get anything in return for that, but I'll put it right here and down in the description box as well if you guys wanna use any of that. You guys, all of this information is gonna be down below if you guys wanna try really any of these products, but if you want to try the free trial, I'll have that, all the information down below. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the actual makeup. Now, the first thing I always do is I'll apply some kind of hydrating cream or luminous cream. So I'm going to start with my MAC strobe cream. This is just going to give me a little bit of extra glow to the skin, which I always love. I just put way too much on my hand, so I'm just going to use one hand. <laughs> but basically, I will start with putting this on the high points of my face, like, you know, my chin, my cheekbones, and my forehead, and then I'll blend it everywhere else. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my Glossier Stretch Concealer and I'm basically just gonna place this wherever I feel like I need coverage. So for me, that's gonna be on my chin, underneath the eye area, and right here where I have a lot of kind of acne scars. And if you guys are wondering, I'm in the shade G7. 
So what I'll do is I'll just start kind of right here under the eyes. And I really don't like to use a lot of this. So I'll kind of do that. And then I'll go to the chin next. And then I'll go to the acne scars next. And then from there, I'll go and I'll blend the product. And I do like to go kind of low, just right here on the center of my face, so that the center of my face looks nice and bright. So we are still covering a large area of the face, I guess you could say, because I'm doing like this whole part here, this here, and then my cheek right there. But everything else we're gonna leave as is. Next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder and I like to use the Glossier Wowder for this and I'm in the G8 to G10 shade. And this, what I like about it is that it really doesn't give you any kind of coverage. So it's gonna keep just the very light coverage that we have going on right now with a little bit of mattifying to the places that we need mattifying or setting, which for me is mostly just in this under eye area. And then again, I'll take it down here a little bit onto like the pore area because I don't want this to look super, super glowy and intense like we get with this um, concealer. Okay, so right now we have basically just the center of our face covered with concealer, although not the forehead. So basically like just this area right here in the center, like a little triangle. <laughs> and then of course, like the blemish area as well. So what I'll do now is I'll go into my bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Tantor bronzer. This is in the shade Light, and it's just the one that comes in like a little packaging like this. It's a cream powder or a cream product on the inside. I like to use cream products for these for this type of look just because I feel like it helps everything to look very natural. Everything just looks very blended and easy. So that's what we're doing today. I am starting out by just putting everything where I want it. So it's a little crazy, but then we'll go in and blend the product. Okay, my camera overheated and I have to kind of reset everything up. I don't know where I was as far as like how zoomed in I was. So hopefully we're in the same place. But now I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlighter. So what I'm going to do for highlighter today is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. And what I do with these, these are very, very intense. So I just like to take a tiny little bit like that. That might still be a, too much. We'll see. <laughs> I'll rub it in between these two fingers here and just start pressing that into my cheekbones. And of course I'll put some on my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, all of that. My favorite thing about those drops is that they don't disrupt the makeup underneath them. So it's really, really good. Now I'm going to apply a cream blush as well. This one is actually new to me, but I'm really excited to try it. It's the new M Cosmetics blushes. These are like a serum cream blush. They're supposed to be really, really hydrating, but also kind of good for your skin because they have serum in them. And I'm in the, I'm using the shade Sunset Sky today. This one is more of like an orange toned one, which I tend to really enjoy in a blush. I'm going to take the smallest little bit of this. Do you guys see that tiny little dot? Because when I was swatching it yesterday, it really did kind of pack a punch. So with this, I think we can start with a light hand and just kind of build it up. Okay, that's gonna complete the face for now. Let me go ahead and do my eyes real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, here we have the finished look. I kept it very, very simple on the eyes too. I just did mascara, a tiny little bit of a very, very light brown shadow and like a little baby wing out of black eyeshadow. And then I used my Persona lip gloss that you guys know I've been loving. And that's basically it for this look. So. Ooh, I have something in my hair. So yeah, if you're someone that just wants to feel like you have no makeup on your face during the summertime, I know it's so hot right now that a lot of us just really wanna feel like we have nothing on our face. I know that's how I feel anyway. This is the perfect look for that because you really, I mean, it really feels like I have nothing at all on my face. It's so comfortable, which is exactly what I need right now. And I don't know if you guys can tell kind of how glowy everything looks. Everything looks fresh, everything looks dewy, which is exactly also what I love. <laughs> anyway, I told you guys I would let you know my favorite coverage foundation at the end of the video. My favorite is definitely super, 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 super light coverage. That's my favorite way to do makeup for sure because I just think it looks very natural. But let me know yours down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.